for that. Esther Guerrero, she's got a fierce kick on her. She's got to time it correctly, though. Boba Chair led her heat, gun to take the new season's best 407. And the Romanian never scared to lead this time of the year. Boba Chair can run a good 800 metre on a day, but I reckon this time of year she's probably in that endurance training. She might be one to make it fast. Now, I heard some whisperings around the arena today that Laura Muir has been struggling with illness this week. That uh, heat effort yesterday to say she was just doing enough. Laura Muir has got a tiny chink in her armour. Well, to be fair, it has to, to be a sizable chink in her armour, Laura Muir. I wonder if we might see maybe a conservative race and then a later wind up from Laura Muir if she's feeling slightly under the weather. jog off the line there for Laura Muir that's not unusual, we are used to seeing that Claudia Bobachea as well, straight to the lead now the men made it 150 metres before we saw a big fall George Mills and Osama Meslek going to the ground looks like we're a little bit more spread out in this women's field, Claudia Bobachea ran very well yesterday 65, 213 400, 800 we're indoors, there's no wind, there's no need not to lead. Oh, the chair doesn't seem to stress her out one bit. And this is good off Sophia Anui. Often she hangs back, doesn't put herself in a good position. But Sophia Anui was very determined in that first 200 metres. Put herself in a very good position. Esther Guerrero is sticking behind her for the time being. Baker and Snowden running a tiny bit wide there. And Laura Muir just tucked in in 11th place. She's a long way behind. If she's going to launch a ferocious kick that we've seen from Laura Muir, she's going to have to come round a whole load of athletes. Well, this is a very good pace at this stage. 4.02. So the championship record of Laura Muir standing from Belgrade at 4.02.39 is certainly under threat at the moment. 64.42, first 400 metres. Bobachea front running as we know she likes to, but everybody else is just using her as a pacemaker in this race. Laura Muir just tucked in very, very nicely there, looking at whatever else is going on. No problems at the moment for Laura Muir. She's coming around the outside now, just extricating herself from any possibility of danger. Snowden on the inside as well, so two Britons in very good position at the moment, but Bobachea that lap just drifting back a little bit on the pace it's just coming off the championship record pace and just a little bit of strain on the face of Boba Chair as she's taken on the responsibility of towing this field around so we saw from Boba Chair yesterday as well a swift first 400 and then she settled down a little bit came through 800 and 213 so it's quicker here today uh, she she does toy with the field. I think it's not always a steady pace when Boba Chair is leading. Um, and she'll know there's big charges behind. Laura Muir has glided through this group very slowly over the last 300 metres. There haven't been any big reactions from the field. And they're running very, very quick. They haven't got a big speed reserve in their legs to use when they see someone like Laura Muir come on their shoulder. You can see Ellie Baker deliberately trying to follow her teammate. Sophia Anui will, will have been waiting for Laura Muir to pull up alongside her. Laura Muir slots into second place. Boba Chair of Romania still fighting in the front. Yes, just gone through one kilometre, thousand metres in 243.95. It's still quick, it's still at around 4.07 place and it's still Boba Chair at the front. But as they come up with two laps to go, Muir is now right on the shoulder of Boba Chair. And in terms of outdoor running, they would have been hearing the bell. Boba Chair though, surging again. Muir tucked in on the inside, but she's still looking very relaxed, very confident. Behind her, Estra Guerrero and Sofia Anui, two very experienced runners. There's a starting to be a gap now between the leading quartet and Snowden and Baker behind them. Laura Muir had a go with 400 metres to go. Claudia Popachea fought her off, but this time Laura Muir kicks the front. 200 metres to go for Laura Muir. That last 200 metres was 31. That swift. Claudia Popachea still working hard in second place. Sophia Anui of Poland trying to launch her trademark sprint finish. She looks behind Esther Guerrero, is still in touching distance. Claudia Bobache is not letting that gap open up. Laura Muir still in the lead, but she's working hard. She's grimacing. Sophia Anui can be lethal, but 
surely she's going to run out of track. Laura Muir working hard here for another gold medal at the European Indoor Championship. It's a three peak for Laura Muir, 403, 41. A very swift time here for the British athlete. Claudia Bobachea, an inspired silver medal there. She did all the running, worked very hard, trying to hold off Laura Muir and Sophia and knew he made all the right moves and was absolutely empty the tank and leaves with the bronze medal. But as has happened so often in the past, nobody in the field had an answer to the talent and the tactics of Laura Muir. Bobache led for so much of the race and rewarded with an indoor personal best of 4.03.76. And so too were Sofia Anaui and Esther Guerrero. 4.04.06 for Anaui. Guerrero just missing out on the medals but rewarded with a personal best of 4.04.86. And further personal best further down the field as well. But yet another gold medal added to the collection of Laura Muir. Boba Chaya, well, she's in tears. I genuinely don't know whether that's happiness or sadness.